Mushy Mushy peeps, welcome to Storytime Fridays, where I tell you a story because it's Friday. How y'all's week been? I'm in LA living right now. Like, I made this video before I went to LA, but like, she. Anyways, guys, so today's story, a very, it's one of the shorter stories, but it's juicy. It's ju <laughs> like, literally juicy. It's the first time I got drunk. Growing up, man, like, I have always been in, like, athletic. I like to consider myself as an elite athlete, you know what I'm saying? I may not be swole, but shit, I could, I just was fit. Now, my parents, you know, they're really strict, you know, no soda, just water, kind of, you know, sunny D, get that vitamin C. Since I've, I've, I've been in that, that bubble, I never pictured myself drinking alcohol. I just, I, I thought it was terrible. I said, I'm never going to drink. In high school, I, I didn't, I didn't drink. Like a lot of my, you know, peers, I wouldn't say friends, but peers, you know, high school peers, you know, those kickbacks and parties, you know, when I stopped being a pussy and I actually went out and socialized, you know, they were all drinking, you know, doing drugs, all this, blah, blah, blah. Not me. I'm trying to, you know, get a scholarship, go play that college ball, you know, balling. <laughs> And that's just me, man. So I said, you know, when I get to college, it's not gonna be me. I'm not gonna be drinking, I'm not gonna be doing anything. <laughs> Boy, was that a lie, man, shit. First night out, bruh. You know, guys settled in the dorms. Upperclassmen say, hey, freshman, we going out. We going out, come on. We going out, come on. And I was like, shit, what, what we doing? Shit, we about to get wasted. I'm like, what you mean by like chocolate wasted? Like, y'all, y'all got, Chocolate milk? I'm really nervous. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna fall into that peer pressure, bro. I'm like, hey, bro, just to let y'all know, <laughs> I don't drink. You know, I was in like this whip, five other niggas like in a, in a two car, not a two car, you can't have a two car, two door car. And I was just like sitting in the back seat, like, cause I got punked, I'm a freshman. And like, you know, the other nigga was like six, eight, but I was like, I was like six, eight at the time, but he was like a senior. So I got a nigga get in the back. So I was like in the back, I was in the bitch seat too. I was like, yo guys, um, just wanna let y'all know, man. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't drink. Could we stop by like QT? You know, QT was Quick Trip, like a gas station, so I could get like a like a juice or something. You know, act like I'm drinking some. They, they, everybody just looked at me, bro. Like, nigga, <laughs> you drinking tonight? You boy, you better shut that shit up. We about to get turned up. We still go to the gas station, get our like drinks and stuff, and we get to the party. I'm like, shit, shit, shit. Peer pressure, no, I must say no. All right, so like, I'm I'm nervous as hell. I, I like, seriously, I'm nervous, you know, I get in. You know, as a, on the basketball team, I had a little confidence because everybody like liked the basketball players, apparently. We had a good rep. I didn't know what to expect, man. I never went to like a legit college party. I'm thinking like, this is gonna be some super bad shit, you know what I'm saying? Like those type of parties you see in movies. And it was a house party, so it was kind of like, it was like that. I mean, it was at a private Christian school, remember that, guys. You know, I took a seat, and I was just kind of chilling with my roommate. And my roommate, he didn't drink either. Like, he, he said he doesn't like to drink. And he was a he was a junior, I believe. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stick with this nigga. Five minutes later, this dude had a cup with some alcohol. I'm like, bro, what happened? He's like, man, this shit good, taste it. I was like... Bro, seriously, you it's I, you're peer pressuring me, bro. You, you you're doing it. You, you, damn, you're right. Damn. No, but for real, taste it. Taste it. <sighs> Fuck. Shit. 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 So I tasted it, expecting the worst taste. Damn, this is pretty good. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> damn. <laughs> shit tastes like juice, man. <laughs> Yo. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, my bad, I got kind of carried away. Cause he like left me with the cup and I was just sipping that mug like it was fucking juice. And little did I know it's gone, it's fucking gone. He came back, I'm like, bro, did you just drink all that? I was like, yeah, why, was there, was there a lot in there? And then all my teammates were looking at me like, oh shit, you about to turn up, nigga. And I was like, no, why, why, Lord, why? Damn it. I was like really nervous. I was like, yo, I mean, I feel good. Like, I don't think I'm drunk yet, guys. I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I feel good. I feel fine. Maybe I have a high tolerance. Maybe the, there wasn't that much in there. And he's like, bro, I poured that shit. I put a lot. And I was like, nah, man, I feel good. And then I was like, uh, can I, can I get a, can I get another one? Like that shit was 
kind of good, man. Like, it's like, yeah, man, let's go. We get into the kitchen, uh, pour me up another cup. I was like, shit, fuck it, man. I just, I'm in college now, you know, fuck my morals, fam. Like, I'm in college. I got to live, bro. Like, fuck this shit. I'm trying to get some bitches. And there were some hoes in there. So I was like, man. And then they, the guys were telling me, like, yeah, dude, you, you drink a little bit and socialize. Get you some numbers. Get you some girls, man. And I was like, yeah, man, let's do it, bro. Like, be my wingman, though, because I got no mouthpiece. <laughs> and then they were like, yeah, we got you, bro. So they got me another cup, introduced me to some fucking chicks. And then, dude, it hit me. It hit me like a wall. I was like, bro, oh, my God. I'm fucking drunk, guys. I'm fucking, I was that guy. I was that guy. I rem like, I remember, cause I, I wasn't like totally wasted where I don't remember, but I was like being loud, like, oh my God, guys, I think I'm drunk. Am I drunk? They're like, dude, chill the fuck out. <laughs> and I was just like, bro, I think I'm fucking drunk, guys. I started uh, chilling out. Like they just told me to yo, just chill out, stop yelling, nigga. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool, guys. I'm not drunk, bro. I'm not drunk. Let me get another cup though. That shit was good. I'm not drunk though. And so then I started talking to this chick. Um, let's call her, uh, let's call her Diddy. Diddy Kong. DK. Let's call her DK. So me and DK, we were chopping it up. You know, she had a drink too. And she was a junior. So I was like, shit. So I was talking to her and you know, we, you know, she's like, hey, come, come upstairs with me. I was like, why? Just come upstairs with me. And I was like, no, but why do you want me to come upstairs? Why can't we just talk right here? This is, I'm comfy. My roommate was like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I don't know why she wants me to go upstairs, bro. I, I'm fine right here. Like everyone's here. We're chilling. Like why the, oh shit. Oh yeah. Hey, I'll, hey guys, I'm, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, up, go upstairs. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm coming. I'm going upstairs, guys. Hey, I'm going upstairs. She, she wants me to go upstairs. I think we're gonna fuck. So it's, it's like one of those things, and I, I told you guys, I, I don't read signals very well, and I'm drunk for the first time, so I'm just like, you know, all over the place. So, you know, I'm with my cub, you know what I'm saying? Just, hey, so you want to go upstairs? And she, like, took me upstairs and shit. We went into uh, this fucking, I don't know what room it was, bro. That was not a bedroom. It was not a bathroom. That shit was like a, a closet, a big-ass closet, bro. It was, it was really weird. I, I don't even know. I think, but maybe it was a storage room. There was, like, a bunch of vac- like, there were like three vacuums in that room. I, I remember that because that was really weird. I've never seen a house with three vacuums. Like who does that? Do you have three vacuums in your room? Like in your house? Like it, like that's one for each fucking room or some shit. I don't know. Anyways, we're in this storage room, some shit. You know, there's a little autumn in there. So we're just chilling. And then she starts like caressing my leg. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. So I was just like, so, uh, you know, how long you, you know, what, what school do you go to? And then she was like, go to your school, fucking idiot. I was like, oh, you go to, oh, you, oh, you hoop. Oh yeah, that's right. You hoop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought I've seen it. Cause it was like the first, it was like the first week. So I haven't seen this bitch before. I didn't even know she was on the team. The guy just, I remember now I'm remembering like, oh yeah, the guy introduced me to you guys. You, you, yeah, they know each other. Cause they, she's on the fucking girls basketball team and I'm on the men's basketball team. So I was, that was dumb. Okay. So then, you know, I start, you know, kind of touching her leg and then she like leans over and I'm like, ah, I guess this is where we make out. And then like, dude, I was so hesitant. I was like, I was like holding her and I was like, and then I like went in for the kiss and then she went in. It was really awkward. It was one of those awkward things. I just went, fuck it. And then we just started making out. And then she, um, she got a phone call. She got a phone call. And we were like making out as her phone was ringing and she answered it. So in there, I could hear her friend like, hey, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at DK? Where are you at? I'm just like, wow, really? I was about to get my dick wet. I was about to get my shit sacked, man. At my first college party when I'm drunk. And I was just like, yo, get off the phone. Get off the phone. She was like, hold on. I'm just going to tell her, like, I'll be there in, like, five minutes. And I was like, five minutes? You're that good? She's like, what? I was like, nothing. So she hung up. And then, dude, 
I hear like a, I, I don't know what I was doing. I, I like turned away for something cause she was on, like she was talking. So I was just like on my phone doing something. And I hear like this noise. It was the weirdest noise. It was like a, I don't know. It was like a, like someone just, like you just fell from a 20 foot cliff in GTA and it was just like a, and I'm just like, turn around. She's fucking puking everywhere. Oh. This is a movie. This is a fucking movie. Like seriously, my life is a movie, guys. I'm not kidding you when I tell these stories. Like why? Why does this happen to me? I mean, it's kind of, you know, cool because I can tell you guys about it, but why me? I, I was I, I thought I was on a roll, you know. I got I got a nice drink. I was feeling good. I got a girl, upperclassman. She was into me. We were making out like hard. I felt a little titty too. I felt a little titty. She didn't have much, but I felt a little titty. Fucking pukes all over the storage room. You know, luckily there's three vacuums, so it was pretty easy to clean up probably. I don't know. I got the fuck out of there. I was like, "Well, time for me to go." And it was it was like a perfect timing because then that's when everybody dipped. So you know, I told the guys, like, hey, I almost got a blowjob, but she puked, so I dipped. And they were like, well, that happened. She was drunk as fuck. Um, so, yeah, she probably won't remember you tomorrow. Turns out she didn't remember me. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we ended up being really good friends after that because it was a funny story to tell. And, you know, it's just one of those things, you know. Some, you know, get drunk, funny story, meet up the next day. Like, hey, you remember when I, you know, puked all over the fucking storage room and we made out and squeeze your titty. I didn't say that, but something like that. That's the end of this story. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little... Yeah, man, make sure you kids drink responsibly and don't fall into that peer pressure. You just put your foot down and say, no, I will not fall into your peer pressure. Unless that shit tastes like juice. Thank you guys for sticking around this week, man. Um, hope you guys are enjoying these weekly daily i should say videos but next next week i'm gonna be uploading vlogs from my la trip i should be in la let's pray that i'm in la because as i'm recording this video it's flooding in houston so my flight's in less than 24 hours i need to check in holy shit uh, hey i'm lsk i mean i'm christopher london make sure you wear something tight make sure you subscribe if you're new for more no chill stories that's what chase money says so i didn't steal that from him i just came off the okay i need to go like this video share this video post it on facebook or twitter you know me i might follow you on twitter follow me on twitter instagram too you're the best no seriously you're the best see ya peace bitch I'm fucking weird. Who had me like, okay. I've been in the crib with the phones off. I've been at the house taking no call. I didn't hit a stride, got my shit going. In the seats cooking with the rip, 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 rip. I wasn't a fan of you when you had a dick. I'm not a fan of you when you don't have a dick. <laughs> like, it's just, but anyways.